All right, so moving down, much like moving left and right is very similar. You have the same sort of check your collisions. The only difference is instead of the x position, you're checking y. The other thing you have to do is, if you did collide with something, moving down has a different uh, requirement where you need to change all your moving blocks into solid blocks. And the command for that is instance change the object you want to change yourself into. And then the true or false value here, perform events, is if you're going to do the create event on the other object. It is very rare that you don't want to, so I usually put in true for almost anything. There are a few instances when you wouldn't want that to happen. Once I change all of my moving blocks into solid blocks, then I want to create a new shape. So you know all that stuff we have in create shape? Rather than copying and pasting it, we're just going to call create shape. That's why we do scripts, is because it allows us to take code that is used in multiple places and just call it in one line. All right, so this is all uh, being done in the down arrow. So I'm checking if I press down, I'm going to just move down. So let me make sure that works. All right, good. What if I move over here? Boy, is it starting to look like Tetris. All right, one more thing I should probably do is have it automatically move. The controller is going to deal with that. It's going to have an alarm event that is keeping track of whether or not it needs to move down. So I'm going to say in the create event of the controller, we're going to set an alarm. In code, the way you set an alarm is you say alarm square bracket, so now we've used almost all the symbols on the keyboard, zero if I want to talk about alarm zero. And I set it to a particular value. Turns out alarms are just variables. By default, every step the game takes, it subtracts one from that particular value. So I'm just going to make it that every second it moves down for now. Later on, we're going to replace this number with a variable that will keep track of how fast we're going when we need to alter the speed. When that alarm goes off, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the alarm. Remember that. So it does this event again. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say move down. So it's just like I press the down arrow. Yet another reason to have scripts. That way I don't have to copy and paste the code. Another reason for it is that if I screw up the code in one place, if I had copied and pasted it in a bunch of different places, I'd have to go find that in all of them. So that's another reason to use scripts. At any point that you find yourself doing the same pattern over and over again, you should stop yourself and go, wait a minute. Should this section be a script that I can just call? If it's more than twice that you've done it, it's probably a pattern that you need to make into a separate script. All right, so in theory, this should be automatically moving down. Yay, I love it when theory and practice are the same thing. And down it moves, it should change into solids. There we go. 